So I just want to spend a few moments explaining some of the view functions and features within Business Center. So when you bring the data in, now that we have data, we can navigate around our screen. And probably the easiest way to do this is to use a wheel mouse. Um, so if you have a mouse and it has a wheel as a center mouse button, if you roll that wheel away from you, it zooms in. If I roll it towards me, it zooms out. Now it's going to zoom in and out about where you place your cursor. So if I put my cursor down here in the lower right hand corner of the property and I roll, you can see that it's going to zoom about that particular point. As I zoom out, it's going to zoom out around there as well. If I put it in the building, it's going to zoom in about the building. Okay. Now, if I zoom in and I want to move over to, you know, one of the other ends, if you press that wheel down, it turns into a hand and you can just drag your mouse and pan yourself around um, the site. So I can come in here and roll in and out and pan around. If I want to get back to see everything, if you double click the wheel, it does what's called a zoom extents and takes me out to um, the extents of my uh, project data. Now there are some other tools up here on the home tab where you can you know, zoom in and zoom out um, as well. I tend not to use those because I use my wheel mouse quite, um, quite regularly. Now, if we wanna look at this data in a 3D view, we can go up to our quick access toolbar and click on the new 3D view button, or we can get it from the home tab as well. I'm gonna click on that. And now you'll see that that creates another tab. So right here, I've got my plan view tab and my 3, 3D view tab. Now, if I use the wheel mouse as well, I can roll in and out. If I press and hold it, you'll see that I get an orbit tool. So by holding it and moving my mouse away from me, I orbit my view so that now I'm in a, a kind of an isometric view. And if you look down in the lower left corner at this little glyph, basically just keep in mind that red means up, right? Red is always up. If you rotate this and I rotate it all the way around, you can see that my, my 3D view will actually be uh, possibly upside down, okay? So you can also right click, use your right click, your right mouse button, hold that down and that does a pan. So I can orbit, I can use the wheel to zoom in, and I can right click to pan. Now, if you wanna see the plan view and the 3D view side by side, if you go up to one of the tabs here, you can right click on that tab and either view them top and bottom or left and right. I'm gonna do new vertical tab to do left and right. So now you can see I've got my plan view on the left in my 3D view over here on the right. If you want to close it, you can close it down and then create a new 3D view. You always have to have one view open. You can have multiple plan views and you can have multiple 3D views. So if I click on another 3D view, you can see here that I can look at this view from this direction and I can look at this view, maybe from this direction. Not typical, but it's something that you could do if you wanted to. Same thing with plan view, is I could have multiple plan views as well. To create another plan view, you can click on this icon here, or this icon here. So now I've got two plan views. You can separate them as well. So I can do something like this, where I've got a one plan view here where I'm zoomed in, I have one plan view here where I'm zoomed all the way out, and then I've got my 3D view down here. And you can work in any one of those views. You'll see that if I click on an object in this view, it highlights them in all the views. We'll just go ahead and close down this plan view and right click and move it to the previous group. And then we can right click and split it this way as well.